why did she jump ship to the WWE and is she officially done in the Octagon? That's next Tuesday right here on First Take. Don't miss Sports Center 6 p.m. Eastern. Can Dame Time surpass James Harden for League MVP? Plus, Saquon Barkley taking the field at his pro day. Sports Center 6 Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Sports Center right now. Good news for the Warriors this morning. Sources tell our NBA reporters Chris Haynes and Ramona Shelburne that Steph Curry is having his right ankle reevaluated today and targeting a return to action on Friday against the Atlanta Hawks. Curry injured himself back on March 8th. Since then, Golden State is 2 and 3. They were in action last night and the injuries didn't get any better on Monday. Already without Clay Thompson, Kevin Durant. Then Draymond Green here taking a knee to the groin when Danny Green drives to the basket in the second quarter. Green bending over in pain. He would leave the game with a pelvic contusion. X-rays showed that they were negative. All right, let's go to the fourth quarter. LaMarcus Aldridge came out on fire. Aldridge backs down his defender and scores with a hook shot in the post. San Antonio up by five. Then... Later, Spurs up by 10, Aldridge burying the jumper, finished with 33 points, 19 points in the fourth. San Antonio wins 89-75. to Now, let's get it back to first take. Antonietta, appreciate you. No Steph, no KD, no Clay. As you just saw, Draymond Green went down with an injured groin in the second quarter of the Warriors' loss to the Spurs. Stephen A., are these injuries a good or bad thing for Golden State? Well, for me, I don't know if it's a good thing. I'm not going to say it's a good thing. It's a good thing if they're really not hurt and they're just using this to get some rest. And I'm certainly not accusing them of never being hurt. Please don't get me wrong. I'm saying that you might have been hurt, but you might be in position to come back earlier than you actually elect to come back because you're getting additional rest. Under those circumstances, it would be a good deal. But if these are legitimate, bona fide injuries where you are hobbled going into the postseason, I'm very, very concerned that some little black cat is running around this organization, man. I mean, in a span of three weeks, your top four players went down all four of them i mean come on when does that happen and so in that regard i'm a bit concerned about it because let me tell you something i might pick them to beat houston and if they're healthy i stand by that prediction no disrespect to my brothers james harden and chris paul who is just all i mean they are all world it's just that i think that golden state is too lethal too long too sniperish <laughs> for lack of a better word or whatever. And I just, I, I'm just going with Golden State, but that's assuming they're healthy. Because you ain't beating Houston if you ain't healthy. And, and that's my question right there right now, right about them right now. So I'm not going to say this is a good thing because I'm worried about their durability. And I only had that concern about Steph Curry in the past. Now it's Durant and his rib and, and, and Clay Thompson and that shooting thumb, which you know is going to get smacked at at every turn. So I'm, I'm a bit concerned about it. I'll admit that. Well, it, it, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because if the, inj listen, if the injury is persistent to the playoffs, it's a bad thing, of course. No, like, who doesn't know that? I'm talking about if they are healthy by the playoffs, then this is a good thing because they get rest. I mean, there's plenty of time before the playoffs still that they can come back from these injuries, and now they're rested. They have a little less wear and tear on them. But Stephen A., even if they are intentionally resting, let's say that these injuries are all bogus for the sake of argument. I'm not saying okay. they are. Let's right. just say they're like, you know what, let, you know, what's a midsection injury? I don't know. Let's just get some rest, guys. Let's say it's Steve Kerr's plan. I'm not saying it is. Mm -hmm. But if you think that helps them, then I need to know what your position on Warriors Rockets is because you have spent a long time saying this season that the Rockets, if they have home court, are we'll going to get to a game seven. Right. And then a game seven could go either way. So if the Warriors are looking at the Rockets and thinking, damn, we need to be rested to beat them. But in resting, they're going to seed the number one seed. Right. They're just going to give up. The number fighting for the number one seed, okay. knowing, according to you, that that means they're going to game seven and it's any one series. Isn't that the same thing as saying that you are rethinking who the best team in basketball is? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm of the mindset that if the Golden State Warriors are healthy, even a game seven in Houston, they're winning. I will be in Houston for that game seven. And I will tell you right now, the Warriors ain't losing. I don't, I don't believe a, a healthy Warriors squad 
is losing to the Houston Rockets. I don't believe it, not for one second. I, I thought I could have sworn on this show you said a game seven, anything can happen. Yeah, no, go no. Either way. no, no, no. That's I'm saying to you, so I said to you, I said, no, no. What I said was that Houston's shot at pushing this series to a seventh game has to come via having the number one seed in the West. They cannot expect a seven game series if they go, if they don't, are the number two seed or lower. Wouldn't if they get agree? the number one seed, they well, could potentially push this to a game seven. But I'm still picking the Warriors. A healthy Warrior squad, I'm not jumping off the boat. If the Warriors are healthy and Houston's healthy, even at the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas, and I will be there, Lord willing, as long as I'm alive and kicking, I will be there for that one. I am going with the Warriors to win a game seven on the road in Houston, just so we all understand well, each other. But wouldn't you agree, if you could close it out before game seven, that would be advantageous to the sure. team closing it out, sure. right? So, sure. so if the idea, so think about the position the Warriors are in, Stephen A. If they are resting intentionally, they are willing to risk going to a game that's seven right. because that's how serious a threat the Rockets are. And if they're not doing it intentionally, then and they could be physically compromised heading into the playoffs. Then Houston's going to beat them. Look, 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 Either look, way, Abby. you're conceding look, look, that look, that Houston look, team. Look, 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 look yeah. there, Abby. Stop being emotional. I am saying to you, okay, that, 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 that listen, if I'm saying Houston can push it to a seventh game, I'm not disrespecting them. I recognize their greatness. I never said they weren't great. What I said is they ain't the Warriors. And in my opinion, the Golden State Warriors, as long as they are healthy, can go into anybody's house. No, even if it's a game seven, and take you out. And I believe no, I understand that is what will happen. That. I understand you're saying that, but what I'm saying you must concede is that the Warriors, if they're doing that, believe their best strategy is to concede home court, right? Like they would rather rest now and give up home court knowing that could very well lead to a game seven, in your opinion, than they would play now and go into the playoff well, Max, something less than fully but rested, you, meaning they but believe you, their I, best I, chance is I, to I, win a game seven I, at I'm Houston. saying that, that that's tomato tomato. So what? You explained that months ago, because remember, we lamented the fact that the Warriors went after that 73-9 and nine record, and they were completely spent. That contributed to their demise right. against Cleveland in the finals as well. So they've learned the error of their ways. And they're like, okay, we accomplished everything we needed to accomplish. We've been to three consecutive NBA finals. We got Steve Kerr talking about let the players coach themselves for a night against the Phoenix Suns because they get tired of hearing the same old voice and all of this other stuff. We recognize the fact that they have to sit up there and pull stuff out of their hat because they've been to three straight NBA finals and they've taxed themselves by putting that wear and tear on their body. So what they're saying is, look at Houston in a way that they're built. Look at the superstar that James Harden is. Look at what CP3 brings to the table because we know that based on what the Clippers do not have any longer. Look at Eric Gordon and the reason and Anderson and Tuck and all of these boys and the way and Capella and look at the way that they've been playing. These guys are formidable enough where we need to be ready, not to mention the fact the OKCs or the Portlands, what are we going to face before we go up against Houston? So we need to be ready and we might oh, need to rest you're ourselves. Right about I that. got that. I got that. You're right about that. I believe the Warriors are a more experienced and wiser team now than they were when they won 73 games. A better team in that respect. What I'm saying is their, their evaluation of the situation could easily lead. And by the way, I'm not even saying that they've conceded the number one seed. I'm not say, I, I'm saying they, they could be playing as hard as they want. Houston may just be better. They may just have wound up with a better record regardless. Let's not forget, they've lost plenty of games to their top two players to injury. Eight to James Harden, 18 to Chris Paul. But they just can't. I mean, they can't help it. They just It's not that they're trying their hardest to win by as much as possible every game. It's that when they're fully healthy, the Rockets can't help it. They can't stop winning. I mean, they're just that good. So what I'm saying about the Warriors is this older, wiser, more experienced Warriors team who's not trying to expend themselves or spend themselves in the regular season. Well, that could easily wind up, you're right, a game Let's seven at Let's Houston. And anything can happen there, whoa, whoa, Stephen whoa, whoa, A. A call whoa, whoa, goes the wrong way, the minute. ball bounces let's, the wrong hold on, way. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's be, listen, listen. I want to make sure that I'm not being offensive because I love me some James Harden. 
I love me some James Harden. He's my league MVP. I love me some CP3. He's the, he's the quintessential floor general. He's a future Hall of Famer. Nothing but love for him. But they're the ones that have something to prove, Max. Not Golden State. Golden State been here. Golden State been in a game seven of, a, of, a, of an NBA Finals. Golden State has won two of the last three NBA Finals. Golden State has won a game seven in the Western Conference Finals. Golden State overcame a 3-1 deficit in a Western Conference Finals. They did it in such fashion, yep. Kevin Durant said, hell with it, I'm out of OKC, I'm going to come join y'all. So let's understand that they did all of these things. Houston hasn't been in that moment. James Harden hasn't been in the Game 7 of the Western Conference Finals against these boys. CP3 has never been the Warriors. to the Conference Finals. And by the way, Max, they got, look at the road they got to go through. They might have to go through OKC before they get to Golden State. So when you talk about the, who's going right. to step up, yeah. they might not even get to the Warriors if we're being real and about the it. Warriors, I think they will, but they might not. the Warriors... And basically the Warriors, I don't even know if they're conceding. As I said, the Rockets may just be better, and that's why they have the better mm -hmm. record. But if the Warriors are conceding by resting, then what they're saying is, yep, the Rockets have something to prove, and they're going to have to prove it against us. But we know that they're so good that they're going to have home court against us. Yep. So the Warriors are still the ones hey, who are going to have to win on the road. Mm -hmm. I, I want the record to show. Okay. I'm actually rooting for Houston. I'd rather be in Houston than Oakland, and I damn sure would rather be in Houston than OKC uh, or Portland. Mm, so shocking. nobody's rooting for Houston more than me. I wonder okay? why. I wish them luck. All I right. wish them luck. There, by the, the way, Rockets at Portland tonight, so that'll be a good one as well. How about That's some right. football, though? I'm saying I'm saying Lakers heat, Molly. Lakers <laughs> heat. Yeah, I'm with it. That, that's my I dream. I wish. They are the best two quarterbacks of their generation, but don't miss why Tom Brady doesn't come close to Peyton Manning's dominance. It's going to be a good debate there. And Trey Young has decided to go pro, but is he making a huge mistake? Someone at the desk thinks the Sooner star should be staying put. That's coming up next. I'm not this way.